Free agency is quickly approaching. Who's going where? Us bringing Derek Carr in uh, about a week and a half ago. Um, I can tell you that was a fantastic visit. Uh, we really enjoyed spending time with him. The new official start of the 2023 NFL season is coming right up. Here are our predictions for where the top 25 NFL free agents of 2023 will land. Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens. This one is almost a no-brainer. Jackson has been everything the Ravens could have ever wanted, and then some. He's gone 45-16 and 16 as their starter, and Baltimore has reached the playoffs in four of his five seasons with Jackson under center. Worst case, the two sides should agree on the franchise tag and then try for a long-term deal in 2024. The Ravens are a bona fide contender with Jackson, and finding a replacement of his caliber won't be easy. Just stay where you are, Lamar. Geno Smith, Seattle Seahawks. Smith won Comeback Player of the Year honors after leading the Seattle Seahawks to the postseason. He's clearly a perfect fit in Pete Carroll's offense. So if it ain't broke, why try and fix it? There's always the chance that Seattle takes one of the high upside quarterbacks at this year's draft, but the truth is that Geno Smith still gives them their best chance to win now. So a multi-year extension should come without second thought for either side. Derek Carr, New York Jets. And Carr is exactly what the Jets need. If they had merely average quarterback play in 2022, they would have been a playoff team. Well, Carr is an above-average QB who would do wonders with Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall as his go-to weapons. Carr never had a defense with the Raiders. Meanwhile, Gang Green has the fourth-best scoring defense last season. This is just a perfect marriage on paper. So, why don't the two sides go ahead and make it official? Javon Hargrave, Buffalo Bills. Hargrave had his two best seasons in 2021 and 2022 respectively, racking up a career-high 11.5 sacks on the Philadelphia Eagles' loaded defense last year. The Bills need a run-stopping force and an interior pass rusher to complement Von Miller. This duo would give Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes plenty of headaches in the AFC. A three-year deal worth around 15 to 17 million a season makes perfect sense for both sides. Orlando Brown Jr., Chicago Bears. The Bears have plenty of cap space to use, and some of that money has to go towards protecting Justin Fields. He took a ridiculous 55 sacks last season, which is pretty scary when you consider his speed and mobility. A GM Ryan Poles should go ahead and offer whatever it'll take to land one of the game's premier young offensive tackles. Brown will likely price himself out of Kansas City, and Chicago should be ready to pounce once he hits the market. Saquon Barkley, New York Giants. Barkley had his first healthy season in four years, and lo and behold, he finished with a career year high 1,312 rushing yards to help the G-Men end a six-year playoff drought. A healthy Barkley is a total game changer for the Giants. And the front office will continue to build this offense around him and Daniel Jones. No reason for the two sides to split right now. Saquon has to stay in the Meadowlands. Jimmy Garoppolo, Las Vegas Raiders. With Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller in the fold, the Raiders probably don't want to rebuild. Their best bet is to find a bridge QB and draft their future face of the franchise in round one. Jimmy Garoppolo worked with Josh McDaniels in New England for three years. The healthy Jimmy G can at least keep the Raiders competitive while they groom their next quarterback. A two-year deal here seems pretty reasonable. Josh Jacobs, Miami Dolphins. Jacobs won the rushing title and should be keen on breaking the bank while also joining a team that gives him a better shot at a championship. Miami is coming off a 9-win season thanks to Tua Tagovailoa, Tyreek Hill, and Jalen Waddle. Now just imagine if they had a bona fide rock star in the backfield. Jacobs would add another element to an already explosive offense, and it doesn't hurt that Miami plays in Florida, which hey, carries a no-state tax. Daniel Jones, New York Giants. After three frustrating years, Jones finally showed signs of being a capable long-term option at QB for the Giants. Jones completed 67.2% of his pass attempts for 3,205 yards, 15 touchdowns, and just five interceptions to go along with 708 rushing yards and seven rushing scores. The goal for the Giants should be to build around Jones rather than without him. Give him some playmaking weapons and watch Jones take his game to another level following his best season yet. Taylor Lewan, Cincinnati Bengals. The ex-Tennessee Titans standout made his interest in joining Joe Burrow's squad very clear, stating, quote, I know the Bengals need a left tackle. I know the Bengals need a left tackle. Bengals. I know the Bengals need Bengals, a left tackle. Bengals, Cincinnati. I know the Bengals need a left tackle. Since his old line was once again ripped apart in the postseason, despite several offseason reinforcements, Lawan is one of the best offensive tackles of his era, and he's the perfect acquisition for a team like the Bengals. Given his age and injury history, Lawan would probably be happy to come to the Bengals on a discounted price. 
Jamal Dean, Detroit Lions. Dean was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' best cover corner of 2022. He's got the ideal frame and physicality to limit the opposition's top wideout. Detroit was 30th against the pass in 2022, and this upcoming season is a make-or-break year for Jeff Okuda. Detroit has to prioritize their pass D if they want to make a run at the NFC North crown, and Dean would instantly upgrade that unit. Jesse Bates III Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota somehow won 13 games in 2022 with the second worst pass D and the 28th ranked scoring defense. In other words, help is certainly needed on that side of the ball. The Bengals seem ready to move on from Jesse Bates, a playmaking safety with 14 career picks and 43 pass defenses. Bates and a healthy Lewis Seen could give the Vikings one of the game's top safety duos for years to come, with Harrison Smith nearing the end of his storied career. Marcus Davenport, Cleveland Browns. Jadavian Clowney's prove-it deal didn't go quite as planned for either side. So now it's back to the drawing board for GM Andrew Barry as he continues his pursuit of a capable pass-rushing compliment to superstar Miles Garrett. A year after seemingly breaking out with nine sacks, Davenport recorded just half a sack in 2022. The cap-strapped New Orleans Saints aren't keeping him, but his upside is worth taking a chance on if you're Cleveland. Even if his sack numbers are inconsistent, Davenport will at least clog up some running lanes and take some of the burden off of Garrett. Tony Pollard, Dallas Cowboys. Pollard anchored the Cowboys ground game by posting a career-high 1,007 yards and 9 touchdowns in 2022. Now it's time for Jerry Jones to give him the full-time starting duties. Keeping Ezekiel Elliott is a story for another day. Right now, the Cowboys have to find a way to keep the explosive and elusive Pollard, who had a ridiculous 20.2 broken tackle percentage last season per rotowire. CJ Gardner-Johnson, Atlanta Falcons. With a ton of cap space, GM Terry Fontenot should not hesitate to spend lavishly on secondary help. CJ Gardner-Johnson, who finished in a four-way tie for the league lead in interceptions with six, would be the ideal solution. Pairing him with rising star AJ Terrell might give Atlanta a top 10 pass defense for once. James Bradbury, Cincinnati Bengals. The cap-strapped Eagles may find it tough to keep Bradbury, but that doesn't mean he has to give up on ring chasing. The Bengals are a bona fide Super Bowl contender, but they lack reliable cover corners to hold off the opposition's top weapons. Bradbury, the 2022 second-team All-Pro, would certainly help Help Cincy defend the pass against those high-powered offenses in Kansas City, Baltimore, Miami, and Buffalo. A two- or three-year deal with a high average of, let's say, around $12 million a year should get it done. Mike McGlinchey, Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson got most of the blame, but the Broncos O-line gave up 63 sacks in 2022, and Wilson was on the receiving end of 55 of those. San Francisco 49ers star Mike McGlinchey is one of the best offensive linemen available on this market. His pass protection needs work, but he'd at least be an upgrade over just about anyone on that O-line. And his dominance in the run-blocking game could help Javante Williams enjoy a monster 2023 season. Bobby Wagner, Atlanta Falcons. The Los Angeles Rams released the future Hall of Famer in a cap-saving move, but make no mistake, the guy is still a game-changer. Wagner can still take over contests on his own, and a team lacking defensive playmakers like Atlanta would be very happy to sign him. The perennial pro bowler would fit in nicely with a front seven headlined by Grady Jarrett, and he could seriously help Atlanta's push for the wide-open NFC South crown. Levante David, Las Vegas Raiders. David remains one of the NFL's premier do-it-all linebackers. He's 33, but he still moves around the field like a 14-year-old, chasing down opposing running backs while also holding his own in pass coverage. The Raiders should be aggressive when it comes to rebuilding a defense that doesn't have much outside of Max Crosby. It's been a while since they had a linebacker of David's caliber. They shouldn't be afraid to overpay here. Jacoby Myers, Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys know they made a mistake by not retaining Amari Cooper, but that's a moot point. It's time to stop pouting and start looking for a capable number two wideout to take some of the pressure off of CD Lamb. Myers crossed 700 receiving yards in each of his last three years, and 800 yards in the past two seasons. The big bodied wideout hauled in a career high six touchdown passes last season. He is the ideal number two who should come at a reasonable price for America's team. Tremaine Edmonds, Houston Texans. The Texans hired ex 49ers defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryans for their head coaching position, so I expect GM Nick Casario to spend a lot of money on the defensive side of the ball. The Texans have arguably the worst linebacking core in football. Adding a two-time pro bowler in Tremaine Edmonds, who's likely going to price himself out of Buffalo, would improve everything. The pass rush, the run defense, and the pass D. 
Draymond Jones, Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles stand to lose several key starters from their defense and free agency, so GM Howie Roseman will likely try to find affordable short-term replacements. Draymond Jones has been a consistent pass rusher and run stopper for the Denver Broncos, posting at least 5.5 sacks in each of the last three years. He might top those numbers when he starts to the Eagles' front seven, and of course, Jones should be motivated to chase a ring while, you know, he's still in his prime. Jordan Poyer, Miami Dolphins Poyer's age will likely affect his market a bit, but that would work out just fine for the Miami Dolphins. Miami made the playoffs last season despite finishing 27th in passing yards allowed and 24th in points allowed. Poyer would improve the secondary instantly, and it's always nice to steal a star player from a division rival. Plus, Poyer has already made it quite clear that he'd like to join a team that plays in a state where there's more sun and less taxes. So don't screw this up, Dolphins. Go and get your man. Juju Smith-Schuster, Indianapolis Colts Smith-Schuster bet on himself, had a mini-revival in Kansas City, and won a Super Bowl ring. Is this the year that he finally gets the big contract? Smith-Schuster deserves to chase the money at this point. Teams always overpay wide receivers, and the Colts could use a capable number two to compliment Michael Pittman Jr. DJ Edwards, Detroit Lions Edwards tuned in an excellent season on that dominant Eagles defense. He was especially a beast in the run-stopping game, and his athleticism would be a welcome addition to a Detroit defense that needs some added speed. Edwards will likely get more than he's worth on the open market, but sometimes you gotta do that in the NFL. Edwards is the perfect piece for Dan Campbell's defense. The Lions should not be scared to give him a 4-5 to five year deal. But which 2023 free agent do you want your favorite Anfield team to sign? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps every ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.